At this time, they're going to present a fashion show called the different ethnic costumes. Put your hands together, please. Okay, people, just to let you know that we're going to be showing the first movie um, in the Arts Garage Theater, it's ready to go. The Holo Holo Paniola. So please go on down. In three minutes, it's going to be shown. And it's free. If you're like me, not Latino by blood, but by heart, let's make some noise. Woo! All right. Waipahu High School Spanish Club and Honor Society have prepared a fashion show with a variety of dresses from different countries and regions of Latin America. We're going to start with a little taste of La Galaguetza with Una Calenda, that's a processional, in the state of Oaxaca. This festivity represents the cultural diversity and richness of this state. Let's start with La China Oaxaqueña. Mayra Hickling and daughters. Okay. Sabrina is representing a Tijuana girl from the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. She's wearing a beautiful handmade blouse and skirt with an iconic huipil grande. Let's hear it for Sabrina. Okay. Next up we have Angela who is representing the region of Pinotepa in the coastal side of Oaxaca. She is wearing a wide and long curled skirt with white ribbons and a white shirt with embroidery. The typical decoration of the costumes is called Chakira. All right, Angela. Next up, we have Maria Jolina. She's representing a Mazatec girl from Huautla de Jimenez home of Maria de Sabinas in La Cañada, Mazateca region. She is wearing a white cotton whipping embroidered with cross stitch. After her we have Jermaine. Jermaine is representing a Yalanteca girl from the region of Yalalag in the Sierra region of Oaxaca. She is wearing a Zapotec whipping that are usually woven in narrow strips with bands of white alternating bands with bands of colored designs. Next up we have Mara. Mara is representing the mountain region of Petasa. She is wearing a traditional white long skirt and white weepy with a red sash in her waist. Mara's looking lovely today. Next up we have Jasmine and Aaron. They are representing the state of Jalisco. Jasmine is wearing a tight bodice with yellow length puffed sleeves, top, swir a long swirling skirt inset with tiers of bright satin ribbon. She is accompanied by Aaron, who is wearing an elegant and equally Jaliscan charro costume. This costume represents the very essence of colonial Mexico and makes Jalisco's entry one of the most charming and colorful of all. All right, Jasmine and Aaron. <laughs> Panama is represented by Mary Rose. <laughs> Sheila. And Mylena. They are modeling Dresses that represent Panamanian culture. Viva Panama. Woo. Okay. Now we have Mary Rose, who is wearing a gracious montuno, a traditional Panamanian folkloric dress. 
You're looking very lovely, Mary Rose. <laughs> Sheila is wearing a skirt. Sheila, no more? Okay. Sheila is wearing a skirt and multicolored blouse decorated in the chest and the back with mola, which is a handmade fabric with attractive geometric design of animal and scenes of daily Gunayala indigenous life. Next, Mylena. She is wearing a typical female dress of Nove Bugle, native group that consists of a wide gown made of colorful materials. It is adorned with geometric patterns at the ankles, around the waist, sleeves, and neck. They are also accompanied by a handmade colorful necklace called Chakira. You're looking very, very beautiful, my lady. Next, Sydney and Rayson are representing the Caribbean region of Colombia. In this region, women usually wear low-cut blouses with uncovered shoulders and wide skirts of bright colors, appliques, and ribbons. These skirts end in a flow at the bottom. He is wearing a traditional Colombian hat and poncho. Let's hear it for Colombia. Okay, next up we have Raui, who is modeling a gracious dress from the Huancayo region of Peru. On her head, she is wearing a stylish Vicuna wool hat. Above the colorful blouse and held in the shoulders rests a blanket that covers part of the chest and entire back. This garment is tailored in fine velvet, richly adorned with beautiful multicolored embroidery in high relief and applications of silk around the edges. She also wears a colorful skirt and sash. Give it up for Raui and Peru. And finally, Lelosa is representing the mother country of España. She is wearing a beautiful traditional flamenco dress with accessories, a black shawl, a flower on her head above her bun, and a traditional fan. Muchas gracias. Let's hear it for Waipaku High School, Spanish Club, and Spanish Honor Society. And all of the countries represented here. Thank you. All right, once again, let's hear it for Waipaku High School and their beautiful ethnic fashion show. Thank you, Maya and Joyce and the rest of the Spanish um, teachers there. They always come through. Thank you very much. They're also doing uh, part of our children's, our Kenki booth as well. And we also have Taura and her Leeward um, University students also with the Kenki booth. And that's on my left.